It is such a good night to kiss. It is such a good night to dance. It is such a good night to scooby doo be doo scooby doo be doo scooby doo I'm kidding everybody, I'm just joking, come on, I love Insomniac. Okay, welcome back True Believers and Spectacular Spider fans to another Spider-Man PS4 related video. And before I begin, first of all, I apologize that the video is in portrait mode. For some reason, that edited video portion that you just saw can only be shown off in portrait mode. And for some reason, when I put this portion of it in landscape mode, it doesn't work out as properly as it should. So just stick with me on this portrait mode video. I promise it'll go back to landscape once I'm done with this one. Sorry about the inconvenience for all you portrait mode haters. I know it's really inconvenient for me. But anyways, um, also I apologize for not posting in five days. I've just been so swamped. I know I say that all the time as you know, you say you think it might be an excuse. I promise you when I say I'm busy, I am busy. I'm trying to do research on exactly what I need properly for Radioactive Replay, which of course is an Elgato, and exactly what PC to look out for. If you have any suggestions, put them in the comment section down below. I know I love you guys because you say I can edit your videos for you, Evan. I can make thumbnails for you. I can do the little editing portions for you. I love you so much, but it's like if you want to do something really cool all by yourself. And just know that you can do it by yourself without anyone else helping you. I want to see if I can do this segment of Radioactive Replay by myself. Just at least the first part of, you know, making the game playable um, on, on an Elgato, you know, like playing the game on Elgato, recording it, recording my audio, editing it on the PC that I get. I don't have one yet. I have this tablet thing right here, this little Samsung tablet. That's all I have. I'm trying my best right now, but after college and everything, I'm just, you know, a little down the drain with terms of cashola, so I'm trying my best for you guys, you deserve the best, and just, if I do need help, I promise I will ask you, but right now, just let me try and do it uh, independently, and just your offers already make me want to cry, because you care that much about me, and it means the world to me, and I love you guys. And now on to what the meaning of this video is, so, uh, if you did not know what the heck that first portion of the video was with the, the little Twitter post, and Toby crying, um, what happened was, Two people from Insomniac Games uh, basically had a long discussion about one of my videos that I posted and basically thought I was a troll or some kind of person who's spreading fake news or, you know, trying to hurt the image of Spider-Man PS4 for some reason because you see on the top, Xavier CK uh, at XCK, something like that. I put the links to his Twitter and Ryan Benno's Twitter in the description. He is the other person uh, on that list of tweets that works at Insomniac Games. So Ryan Benno is the environment artist, not the only environment artist. He is a, a simple environment artist. And then uh, Xavier CK is a 3D character artist. Not the only one, not the main one, just a character artist. Um, and what they did is that Xavier shared my video uh, talking about Ryan Benno's tweet where I said, Spider-Man PS4 officially appearing at GDC 2017. What will be shown? Speculation. That's the video that uh, they shared. And pretty much they just have a long list of tweets dissing the video and talking about how kind of I, I'm starting fake news, um, kind of trolling people or just kind of um, spreading fake hype for the game at GDC or some reason. And here's the thing. When I said officially appearing, he is making a PowerPoint for GDC. It could be about dogs for who knows but the fact that two of these people now xavier over here a 3d character artist forced by ps4 are now bringing up this video and talking about it yes it could mean nothing it could mean spyroom ps4 is coming out 2020 for you people who think that even though it's confirmed to come out this year it is confirmed in some way they will at least mention the game. If it's a gameplay demo, of course not. If it's going to be the whole game released, of course not. If it's going to be another 30-second clip, probably not. We are saying that we will probably at least get a reference to what you guys are currently working on with Spider-Man. The only game that you're working on right now, other than, uh, I don't know, The Unspoken, which is releasing, or already released. Um, and Ted Price is going to be talking about that at DICE. Um, Bill Roseman and Brian Itahar. The big boys of Spider-Man PS4 are the ones basically in charge. And then you have Ryan and Xavier over here just kind of saying all this stuff. And again, I'm not mad in any way with these two amazing individuals. I love 
Ryan and Xavier, because they're the ones, part of the team, making this amazing game for all of us. Do you have, for you fans out there, you feel the exactly the same way. These amazing, talented individuals are making a fully triple-A, next-generation, free-roaming Spider-Man game. It's never been done before. Ever, pretty much. Spider-Man 2, yes, great game. But none of the Spider-Man games before have been triple-A quality levels. Web of Shadows was really good, too. Shadow Dimensions also, but not triple-A. This is the... F this is... This is gonna blow our minds out of the water. Like, I'm, I'm serious. And I love you, Ryan and Xavier, if you're watching this. I'm sorry if it seemed like I was trolling you or spreading fake news or something. Because about at the time when I posted that video, the only tweet that Ryan posted was that one saying that he's making a PowerPoint for GDC. He didn't say what he's making it about, he just said he's making a PowerPoint. That can lead to speculation, and then, a couple days later, or a day later, he put out the tweet saying, oh, by the way, I'm not talking about everyone's favorite webhead. Yeah, but Ryan and Xavier, you gotta look at it from the fans' perspective, and I know that you're not in control of the marketing, and again, that's with Sony, Marvel, and yourselves, and Somniac, because of how that's a big giant mesh of who's going to show what, how are you going to show it, and what are you going to show for the marketing for this game that we haven't had anything for yet. And, um, you know, when we see that you're officially going to a conference that you yourself have not said that you're going to yet, um, until you post that tweet saying you're making a PowerPoint, that can lead to speculation, since we haven't had anything from Spider-Man PS4 in four months now, since September, since the P the 32nd PS4 Pro Clip event, which, if you take that out, really, we haven't got anything since June of 2016. So, that can cause fans to get a little agitated and irritated and also kind of skeptic and also speculate on when we could see the game next. And since you are going to GDC, you're making a PowerPoint, you're working on Spider-Man PS4, what could it be about? I understand. It probably isn't now at this point. Since, for you viewers who don't know, it is confirmed that Insomniac is not appearing at PAX South, or now with these tweets and also other tweets that um, Insomniac Games and Ryan and Xavier have posted are not going to um, GDC. But keep the hype alive on the game. Keep your eyes on, on DICE 2017. Again, Bill said he can't promise Spider-Man PS4 or at Marvel's Capcom Infinite for you Marvel's Capcom Infinite fans at DICE, but you never know. Just keep your eyes peeled. And again, Brian and Xavier, if you're watching this, I don't know if you will be. I love you. I love you guys. You are making my dreams and a lot of other Spider-Man fans' dreams come true with the work that you are doing. If I triggered you guys in some way, if I upset you guys, if I said something wrong in my video, which I watched it again a few times, I can see a little bit of how I think that they would take it the wrong way, I guess. But I love you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. The Spidey Squad exists, by the way. I don't think, uh, for you viewers out there, I don't think Ryan and Xavier know who the Spidey Squad are, which if you're watching, we are a group of people who are keeping the hype alive for your game. We are keeping the hype alive for Spider-Man PS4 as much as we can of how excited we are for it and how much we want you to do the best job possible and to have people get off your back and have you work on the game. So subscribe to me, <laughs> subscribe to the rest of the Spidey Squad because we are here just hopefully doing a good job of spreading hype and excitement for your game because that's what the Spidey Squad is all about. So thank you so much for watching, Two Leavers. I apologize for the portrait mode thing, and if it seemed like I was angry at them, again, 100% to clarify, I am not angry with Ryan Benno or Xavier CK at all. Their descriptions to the Twitter are in the description. Um, you can go and follow them there, and please go out and just share them some love because they don't deserve any hate because they said that stuff about me. Just be the best you can towards them because they are making this game awesome for us. So stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Peace out.